Alright guys, we're back out in the shop and today we are working on the handle scales for the cable Damascus knife. Now I've got the blade taped up right now because I don't want to hurt the finish that we have on it. We want to leave it nice and uniform right now and the last thing we want to do is risk banging this around whenever we're attaching the handle scales or shaping the handle scales later. We want to just make sure that this is nice and protected. Now for this episode, we want to go ahead and make sure that we get the handle scales attached to the G10 that we have here. This is 8 inch thick G10 liner material. We want to get them attached to that and then go ahead and get these all attached to the knife. That is the goal for this episode, to end up with scales on the knife by the end of it. So what we need to go ahead and do, you know, for one, what I've already done is I've already flattened where these are actually going to touch on the liner material itself. It's nice and nice and flat on there, no gaps or anything like that. That is the goal. So I've already done that part. And these were the ones that I had to use that Starbond glue. So this stuff right here to fill in all the little gaps and crevices and cavities that were in here. To make sure that we had a nice solid material going all the way across there and inside some of these little areas right here so once we got that done and we got it all nice and smoothed out sanded down we have some nice even scales and i really like that black that's inside there it really made that area pop but what we got to do now that we have these already flattened is we need to go ahead and sand this material right here because that glue is not going to want to stick to this high sheen area. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab some 220 grit sandpaper and we're just going to scuff all of this. This does not need to be, you know, put down on something flat and scraped across it. We're not really doing that because we're not removing a ton of material. All we're doing is just trying to go through and create a whole bunch of little scratches all the way around the flat area so that we are you know roughing up the surface we just don't want that high gloss surface right there so we're gonna go ahead and sand a little bit on this so now you can see we got it all scuffed up. This was the before, this is the after sanding. Now one of the things that I used to do and it led to a couple of issues was I would always cut these the exact size of the scales. And what would end up happening is as I'm going through and sanding, I would accidentally sand the edge a little bit too much and I'd start rounding this. And what would end up happening is whenever I came to the close edges, I would end up with a weird gap, especially if I was going to try and use all of this area on some of the knives that had a really flat spine. I would try and suck all the way up to the edge here and I'd end up with the weird area that I'd have to end up grinding out because I rounded over this edge. So now all I got to do is just make sure that center is sanded and I'll have a nice contact area all the way around it with a little bit of overhang everywhere. So that's why I just changed up a little bit in my process to make sure that everywhere I actually touched here, I had a nice, good mechanical bond and I didn't end up rounding the edges where it was going to attach to the scales. So now we're going to do sand the other one and start prepping to glue this to this. I'm just going to use a little bit of acetone to just clean off the surfaces. We're not really trying to get too aggressive with this because we don't want the acetone to start breaking down the you know the glue that actually holds all of this together so we're just cleaning some of our greases from our hands off there without really focusing on getting a lot of this down into the pores of this G10 just enough to make sure it's clean let it dry I'm going to go over the scales a little bit as well just like so 
Now this is the area that is going to end up laying down on there. So I know which side is which. So I'm going to go ahead and pull our tape off here. And that is going to end up going down. So now we just need to mix up some epoxy. So now all we're going to do is just put a thin coat on each one of these pieces. Look at the way that looks with that gloss on it. Is that not just beautiful? I'm just going to use this first clamp to just get it positioned where I want it. So that as we start clamping these down, they don't want to shift any more than I want them to shift. And I really don't want them to shift. Now you don't have to clamp these down super hard. You're just clamping it down enough to snug them up. You're not trying to squeeze everything out. If you go too tight, you have a chance of doing that. There you go. So now all we got to do is let this set up. And then tomorrow morning, we'll go ahead, cut all the excess off and start getting these ready to attach to the blade. Well, not the blade, the tang. So now that we have our scales nice and squared up to where they're the same size all the way around here, we want to go ahead and flatten this bottom section. Now we're not flattening it because it's wavy or something right here. It's because you get a little edge. You can see it right here where the light's kind of shining off of it. You get a little burr all the way around the scales whenever you're grinding on all these sides. So we need to take that off and then go ahead and rough this up so that whenever we're getting ready to glue them to the tang, we actually have a nice scuffed up surface already. So it's going to do two things. Get rid of that burr and go ahead and smooth this out. So just like that right there. And all I'm using as my little, you know, flat plate is a quarter inch thick piece of G10. And that's what we're using to be able to make sure it's nice and flat. So now we need to make this one look like this one. And there we go. 
Now all we need to do is go ahead, get these cleaned up, and then we're going to put them together, tape one side so that we're nice and attached, and then go on to the next step. So now that we're at this point where we have it taped up, we want to go ahead and figure out which part of the grain we want as we're positioning our tang on this. And I want some of this, I want a lot of this in there, plus a lot of the grain. So I'm going to end up pulling it further forward and up towards the top. Now my handle is going to end up coming across here so I can use as much of this cool area as I want so I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull it to right here we're gonna go ahead and mark where the tang is gonna be so that we have something to reference as we start moving this around And we know that the front of the handle is going to go from about right here to this top corner. So about like that. That's going to give us all of this cool area up here. And then this awesome vein going across there. So that's the goal. Now we got to do, we got to get this on here get this clamped together and what we're gonna do is we're just going to clamp it with the back hole exposed or the front hole exposed just like that so that we can drill through this hole put our pin through there then we could take our clamp off, drill through the back hole, put the pin through there, and then at that point we can go ahead and cut off the excess. So we're going to need to go ahead and use some of the Starbond product on these scales again. Just because of there's, there's a lot of little holes inside here. So some more little cavities going around this. And I need to go ahead and fill before we actually 
attach these scales to the knife and then start shaping them. So I'm going to go ahead and fill all these little gaps and everything before I attach everything. And I'm going to use their medium thick black that they have here. And we're going to use their little needle applicator and go inside here. I like it because you can go down inside the little cavities there and backfill. Once we get that on there, go ahead and hit it with this accelerator right here, and it will dry everything. Now I'm going to go ahead and get some of the little back areas. covers it for that one then all we got to do is get the other one let's go ahead and put that on there and there she goes so now I've got these all glued up. I'm going to go ahead and just let these finish drying. I know that right now I could probably go ahead and sand them, but I just want to 100% make sure everything's good there. So even though I use the accelerator, eh, I still want to just leave it for a few hours to sand the stuff that's down in the crevices because I've still got to go through and hand sand all this but I gotta grind this off first and then we'll be hand sanding it but I think that I think that that's about what we're gonna call it on this one you know I think on the next episode here let me put you all up here hello um, I think that on this particular episode we're gonna go ahead and we're going to call it here and then we'll go ahead and actually do the handle attaching, we'll do the, you know, making sure we get everything pinned together and all of that in the next episode. So we'll attach the handle scales, we'll shape the handle scales, and we'll go ahead and put an edge on this knife and cut some stuff with it. So that is the goal. I really, really, really am enjoying this Starbond stuff. I mean, this is like, just absolutely comes in handy. I've used it a ton since I've got it and I'm just I'm really happy with this product and I'm happy that they sent it to me you know if y'all want to try it out I've got a link in the description below you can go ahead and click on that uh, again it is an affiliate link so if you click on it and you buy stuff through that it does you know give me a little kickback on that but uh, guys all we got to do to finish this knife is attach the handle scales shape the handle scales and put an edge on it that is going to be Friday's video. We'll have this knife done. Then we'll go ahead and kick off the handle and everything for the simple EDC knife that we're doing, which is stock removal. I'm really excited to see how these are going to turn out because these scales just look absolutely beautiful whenever you actually get some gloss on them, like you saw in the video. So I really can't wait to see what these are going to look like. Um, this is going to be a cool knife. Guys, y'all let me know what y'all think about uh, how this is turning out in the comment section down below. If you would, give this video a thumbs up, share this video or one of my other videos. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Guys, thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for spending your time with me. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. I'll catch y'all next time.